right, greetings everybody, back again. Um, this tutorial is um, this brief blending intro, it's not really a tutorial, but it's an intro into uh, Ubuntu for those of you who may be curious about using Ubuntu Linux and um, pretty much um, the ins and outs of it. Um, I run my whole business on my from using Ubuntu, and you know, I'm pretty much I'm a web developer. So um, I think in one of my videos I was saying that I needed to find a way to design websites with software that was uh, equivalent to what I can have in Windows. And uh, before I was using something called Dreamweaver. I still use Dreamweaver, but I was looking for something that was a little bit more native because I wanted to go all strictly Linux instead of having to reboot inside my Windows system. So I did a little digging around and I found a program I found three of them actually and this is one right here it's called uh, Bluefish Editor and uh, it's just a basic text editor but it's it's not it's a little bit of, it's not like notepad or whatever but it you know I I use this text editor for um, PHP because I was doing a lot of PHP coding at the time and I use it for PHP and you know you can just you know, put your script and your code in there and test it, but it's good for like so many different things. You can use it for HTML, CSS, JavaScript, whatever. But I use it for PHP and it's called Bluefish Editor. And it got the job done, but I want to, you know, look around and see what else I can find, what else, what else options did I have. So I ended up running across this another program called um, Composer. called Composer and it's pretty much you know the same thing you know you can, you can build a total website with this program like overnight once you get to know it and the good thing about these programs are they are free and they are um they have a community backing them but um with Linux if you're going to be a Linux user you have to mind, you might well get used to uh going and reading up on documentation and, and people have YouTube videos and other stuff out there, but you gotta do like your own research on how some of these programs work, because it don't come with. It's not it's not marketed and packaged and bundled for you know to be a retail product. You know this is developed by what I was saying, like the uh, the community to uh, make these type of programs. The open source community contributes and, and give put these programs out here for us to use it's for free. So you just gotta find the right documentation to use, you know, I mean to find to uh, to learn how to use this. But uh, I found one that was even better though. Like I this, those two were good. But I found one that that I'm that I just love, and I'm always in it. I'm always like I've been able to just do everything I need to do with just this one program right here. It's called Aptana Studio Three, and it's free, of course. Um, you gotta know how to install it and what I use this for I use this with my Ruby on Rails projects uh, HTML and uh, what we can like if I want to make a website real fast I just show you like not to get into all the details but I go to web project my first website like it's this saving me so much time. You got a boilerplate for those of you who design and do websites, you know that HTML5 is a new standard right now. So uh, a lot of browsers are slow to adapt to it, but uh, this boilerplate, like, it, it automatically just see what it's doing. It's just, it's, it's filling in all the, um, look what it is, see? It made all this right here. Like it put in all that boilerplate information that you would use that you that you would usually have to just find and, and type in on your own. But it did it right there in one one um, click of a button, and then it made all these files over here. Like it made an index.html. If you want to code this site to be ready for Apple iTouch phone, it got it has the icons already in there. They already make the G the JS folder JavaScript. It has a, a CSS folder style that CSS. I mean, it, it automatically do all this stuff. 
with just one click of a button. And uh, let's see, let's say if I want to just create a, start to create this web page. Let me do the typical hello world. Hello world. And I'll save it. And I'll view it. Look at that. This, that's the beginning of, yes, this is a precursor for creating any web page. It's just that hello world thing. You get that to show you that mean that you're working. But this tutorial, is, this video is not to go into web design. And it's just showing you how you know you can run your you can run the business with Linux, and you don't have to really um, pay for all this software. It's just a matter of you sitting and wanting to learn, learning, learning this stuff, because you know uh, there's a community backing it, and a lot of times uh, it's not packaged and sold to you in a way where you know uh, it's not marketed heavily. So you guys got to be able to go in and find like what what do you want? Like I've been almost able to. F do everything that I've been able to do in Windows, I have like been able to pretty much do in Linux. So I go over some more videos with um, some more stuff that you may want to uh, that that you may can use if you choose to come this way to Linux. And like I say, I still do use Windows, and I use it for certain programs that I just you can't that that you can't like get around like. Photoshop for instance. I may I may make a video on that. But uh thanks for watching this video and I hope that you, you know, decide to make this 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 leap to come be a Linux user.